We associate boating with a day off from work, right? Well, our business editor, Rod Maloney, found it a way to make it his job today. Turns out there's serious marine research taking place on a local lake involving boats powered by batteries. Our Rod Maloney had to see for himself how the electric ride compares to the gas powered. What could be more inviting than a day out here on the lake? And as quickly as things are changing on the road with electric cars and trucks, they're changing out here just as fast. That's the answer to your first question. Yes, a battery powered boat does have equivalent power. We zipped around Orchard Lake on an electric tri-tune with the same power as a 250 horsepower motorized engine. Hercules electric mobility engineer Jim Breyer put his Bolt boat through a shakedown cruise. But you have the power and the torque available to pull a skier or a tuber, um, just like you would in a normal boat, a normal gas boat, um, but you do it with much more efficiency. And yes, to your next question, electric boats are about 20% more expensive new. Farmington Hills based Hercules originally floated the idea of an electric pickup truck, but armed with a patent for a malleable battery platform, their research led them to bail on the trucks entirely and hit the water where there's little competition. The efficiency of a gas outboard on a boat and the amount of pollution it puts out is 25 times that of a car. And so we really wanted to make a bigger impact. Julie Tully isn't a boater, but saw a vast opportunity. People who are boaters typically care about the environment and want to have a clean um, and quiet experience when they're out on the water. And here's a unique selling point. The battery is hidden under the rear deck and seat. The play space on a boat is the back end of the boat. That's where everyone, you, that's where you tow your boat, for, you know, your skiers from. That's where the party is when you're at the sandbar. And we open that deck space up. Now, to be fair, inboard internal combustion engine motor boats do have that same feature. Mine has that. But, you know, it's interesting. As fast as that boat is, the journey from trucks to boats was probably faster. It was only four and a half months ago that they started working on this project and they say they are well on their way. They've got a major boat supplier wanting them. They've got contracts, there is money coming in. So it looks like Hercules' future is quite bright. Back to you. <laughs> and you got on your sunglasses even, <laughs> like, because, because it's so bright. Rod, um, how soon might you be able to buy one of these electric boats? This is uh, so interesting. Well, they say early 2023. And mm -hmm. one of the okay. other things that you can do is you can buy a conversion kit for an internal combustion engine now, get the battery and put it in your boat. Again, that's coming in the next year or so as really, well. Really, really interesting story. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it. Love the way they opened up that space. Uh, you know, it's the, <laughs> my favorite thing about the electrics. You take the engine out of the truck, you get the frunk. That's our favorite part of that. And then you get the whole back deck. That's of the boat. right. So cool. Yeah. Really